Hello creative ones, welcome back to Ask of Minan. If I hide for the first time, don't forget to subscribe. And if I subscribe, thank you for doing that. Thank you all for your love and your support. In this tutorial, I'll be learning how to make this turban. So this video is just to guide you on how to make this tie. You can just do it as just make it perfect as you want and but this video i'm going to be showing you how i made my so you can add to yours to make it bigger you can reduce it just better how you want it you can stone it you can just embellish anything you want so let's get started so i'll be showing you the material that will be needed for this i have my tape and this is my door face this is my door face though the body part is the shiny part and the other one is the normal tall face and this is my foam so just get this foam this is my foam use the soft one and um the next thing now i'm going to be showing you now i'm going to be showing you the measurements i used for the body of the top hand so for the body of the top band i used the shiny part but i'm going to be using the normal door face to show you the illustration on how I cut and made it. So this is how you fold the fabric into two. It's going to so fold, fold it into two. Like I said again, 25 inches by 16 inches. 25 inches by 16 inches. That is 25 inches will be wide and 16 inches will be long. And so this is it you can separate it you can make your band and make your body of the turban together or you can just make the body of the band and you fold your band out just depending on how you want it in this tutorial i make it separate so my band is four inches my band is four inches by 25 inches while my body is 12 inches by 25 inches so if you have if you had 12 inches plus 4 inches so it's going to be give it's going to give you 16 inches so that's why i said 25 inches by 16 inches so that is what i'm showing you so we're ready for that into two we are going to join the band together or you join the band from the 16 inches should I repeat myself again? You are going to be joining the band plus the body of the turban together, or you join, or you, or you sew out your band from the 16 inches. So that is it. That is it. And um, so the other side, you are going to play. You are going to sew the other part, and this is for the band. This is for the band and for our band we're going to be having nine inches by six inches again nine inches by six inches in two places so let me repeat myself again can you see it can you see what i show you that i've already joined um, the band and um the body of the turban together this is our hand so what going to be nine by six inches nine by six inches can you see just so you turn it out then you join it to the body of the top band you join it to the body of the top band you see what we are doing so you fold this into two then you so you're going to make an erroneous station to that you're going to start uh, and see what we are doing now. So I'm going to be doing that. I'll turn it back and I'm going to make a running station. Just, just see what we are doing. It's very, very easy to do.
So you're going to be leaving four inches, a space of four inches, and you're going to tag this place. You're going to sew that part. You're going to sew that part. If you have any question that you want to ask me on this video, all you have to do is well, send me send a message to me on my WhatsApp number. And so this is it. You turn this out. So the inside of your fabric just take it to a weaving machine and you need the inside. That is very important. The, the next one I'm going to do now, I'll be showing you this is our foam parts. This is our foam parts. And for the for the twisting parts, we're going to be using 10 inches. We're going to be using 10 inches by 40 inches. 10 inches by 40 inches. I think it's not 40. Well, I, I think I make 40. The other one is 40. I think this one is 39. So, that is it. It's 10 inches. So, then you're going to sew it. Then you're going to turn it out. I'm going to be having two pieces. And if you want to make it to be more full, you can make it 15 inches. It depend on how, but I'm I'm okay with this. So I'm going to be f putting this out now. I've already sewed the two on on my sewing machine. The next thing I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be turning this out. You can use a scissors to turn it. You can use a pin to turn it. You can also use your hand to turn, it. like the way I'm doing my. I use my hand to turn it out. So the next thing now. We'll be doing after you have turned it out you can just take it to your you can just well sorry sorry for that so you can pull in the your foam inside just take your foam and when you're put pulling it in your phone make sure you, you take it easy you know your foam is not that strong like that so just take it easy just pull it in a little bit gently don't rush yourself just take your time to pull it in So don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, don't forget to share, don't forget to follow my Instagram, House of Minan, on Facebook, my Facebook page is Queen Pretty. So oh, you're going to be leaving some inches in both sides, I'm going to be leaving like 2 to 3 inches both sides, 
so this part is um is a little bit um long just you have to take it easy um the way I'm, the reason why i make it longer is just for beginners so you can understand what i am doing so in good to be keep doing that just see what then just keep doing that you keep doing that keep doing that so the next thing down we'll be doing when we are done with this yes i'm done with this the next thing i'll be doing that i'm going to be doing the the twisting part this kind of twisting is not um the normal twisting that you twist and um, just like something like just folding 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 mm. so like you're folding 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 see what we're doing and so what we'll be doing next now is at the back of the at the back i'm going to be tucking in it inside if we make it bigger you just need to twist on one part but like this because it's not full so i decide to fold it into two then i fold like that your folding don't need to be much just fold a little bit and so then the last part then you're going to fold this inside then you're going to sew with a needle and thread so i'm going to now take my needle and thread i'm going to fold i'm going to sew that part sorry i'm going to sew that part you're going to be sewing that part in the middle at the beginning just like in four places so you can secure that twisting part i repeat myself you're going to be tacking it in three to four places so you can secure that part you're going to fold this inside and take your needle and thread then you sew it in and out just the way i'm doing mine you sew it in and out so it's in and out so it's about the other second part you do the same thing to it you do the same thing to it the fold in and out so i'm still folding I'm still folding then i'll come to the front here and i'm going to sew then i'm going to take this to the top and body and I'm going to sew it down. I'm going to fold it. You can just take it to your dummy's head or your baby's head. And when you're doing this part, make sure you take it to your dummy's head, your baby's head, and um, fix it in. It's going to be easy for you. Because if you place it down, you may not get some um, this tie properly. So just take it then you're going to tack and tack make sure you're tacking like three to four places the beginning the center and the, the back parts so you're going to sew in and out you're going to sew in and out i'm going to tack that part i'll tack that part i'll go to the upper place and the frog for the crossing at the front you can just cross it the way you want you can make it f just do it the way you want just depend on how you want it like my my crossing is not that much at the front so you can start it to add more to your own crossing that means you're going to add more to your fabric so you're going to do the same thing at the back of it and you're going to tack and tack so i'm going to tack and tack and that is it and that is it so don't forget to knit the inside take it a weaving machine and knit it and don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like don't forget to share so this is my own um, way of making this tutorial so darlings i'll be seeing you next time on my next video bye